polycystic ovary syndrome, is it frequent and what, who gets it? So PCOS is a very bad name, but we haven't been able to change it. It's very common, and depending on the definition that you use in the country you're in, it can be anywhere between 5 and 20 percent. So it is a common condition, and certainly the commonest hormone condition of young women. And what are the clinical features? The classical cl clinical features of PCOS are having irregular periods, having some evidence of high androgens, either hirsutism, acne, or changes in the blood testosterone, and also ultrasound appearance of polycystic ovaries. So the classical definition that's now used across the world means two out of three of those. And you are saying uh, many studies show that there's an increased risk if a woman is overweight or even obese or have a syndrome. Yes, we think that probably there's an underlying familial or genetic cause which is yet undetermined. But it's unmasked particularly by poor nutrition, obesity, uh, lack of exercise, etc. So the relationship between lifestyle change and an underlying tendency to PCOS is still being dissected out. And lifestyle change really works as therapy? Yes, there's no doubt that as in uh, treatment and prevention of just of diabetes mellitus and also gestational diabetes, that losing up to 5% of your weight um, has a very significant metabolic effect, certainly has a very significant reproductive effect. And uh, for those of us who deal with women wanting to control their periods or have a baby, um, lifestyle change is known. Do women go, have to go to specialized centers here or can any gynecologist help her? One of the challenges we've been facing is uh, trying to educate doctors and health services about PCOS. And uh, people will go to different specialists and get different opinions. Mm -hmm. um, for instance, a dermatologist often will not know very much about the gynecology and the gynecologist won't know very much about the metabolic, etc. So patients need to um, choose um, a general practitioner who's got a wide overview who can then decide who the next professional should be to maximize the care of the patient. And there are specialized centers for treatment? Um, this varies. Some hospitals have specialized centers for PCOS. Generally, people would go and see uh, a gynecology clinic, go to an adolescent health clinic, um, or an infertility clinic for advice. Thank you very much. Thank you.